بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم <تصفيق> ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله اما بعد فان اصدق الحديث كتاب الله واحسن الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الامور محدثاتها وكل محدثه بدعه وكل بدعه ضلاله وكل ضلاله في النار اما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته so inshallah we'll continue from where we left off <coughs> we left off at the second principle of the six principles in this book some of us have studied this already i think all of us in the group now i've gone through this book already but we'll go through it again because i wanted to get the recordings because <coughs> i didn't record it, the other ones properly so the sheikh uh, he begins here let's see and highlight that there the sheikh uh, begins and with the bold and the bold text is from the original book the normal uh typography is from the scholar's explanation of of the original scholar's book yeah so then the sheikh says says al aslu thani amara allah bil ijtima'i fi ad-din wa naha 'an at-tafarruq fihi fa bayyana allah hadha bayanan shafiyan tafhamuhu lawam wa nahana an nakuna kal ladina tafarraqu wa ikhtalafu qablana fa huliku وذكر انه امر المسلمين بالاجتماع في الدين ونهى عن التفرق فيه ويزيده وضوحا ما وردت به سنه من من العجب الوجاب في ذلك ثم صار الامر الى ان الافتراق في اصول الدين وفروعه هو العلم والفقه في الدين وصار الامر بالاجتماع في الدين لا يقوله الا زنديق مجنون So then the Sheikh says in the second principle that he brings from the original book, Usul al-Sitta, and the Sheikh who's explaining it is the Sheikh Abdul Razak al-Badr, Hafidullah. So he says, uh, we quote the original text, he says, it's the second principle. And the second principle here is the Sheikh, he mentions, he says that it is that Allah commanded the Ummah, us Muslims, with being one body, being one society, one group, one body upon the same deen. in the deen and for allah for, forbade us from splitting and differing so then the sheikh says that allah clarified this in a, a very clear absolutely clear manner up until the general person from the awam from the general public can understand this and likewise uh, we have been uh, uh, allah forbade us from uh, from being like those who split and differed uh before us the nations that came before us who split who split it and differed and then they were destroyed because of that and then the sheikh says that allah jalla wa ala has mentioned he commands the muslimin with being one body being a united body in the religion and has forbade them from splitting and differing and the sheikh just mentions here that the the sunnah as well itself increases the clarity and gives extra emphasis and additional evidence on top of what the quran comes with with regards to this principle then the sheikh says that then then the ma- the matter changed the affairs changed instead what people started doing is they started commanding with um the people themselves from the muslims alif tiraq they started differing and they brought and started differing in the uh foundations of the deen and in its subsidiary matters as well and they took this as something being praiseworthy and knowledgeable and that this is the knowledge that you should seek about splitting and differing and things like that and the opposite of it uh, uh as well as in being one group one society one group one strong united body they they said that whoever says this it with regards to the deen then he is either a heretic or he's crazy and lost his faculties so you can see how it it was turned on his head afterwards 
So then the Sheikh will explain this in more detail. So let's go through this. I so found the, this on the web. So the Sheikh says, قال المصنف رحمه الله الأصل الثاني أمر الله بالاجتماع في دينه ونا عن التفرق فيه فبين الله هذا بيان شاف تفهم العوام ونهانا أن نكون كالذين تفرقوا واختلفوا قبلنا. So that's just taking what we read earlier. So then the Sheikh says, هذا الأصل من الأصول الأذيمة مبينة بيان وافي شاف في كتاب الله عز وجل وفي سنة النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم وقد تكاثرت النصوص في ذلك وتضافرت في تقريره والدعوة إلى الاجتماع والنهي عن عن الافتراق قال الله عز وجل إن الذين فرقوا دينهم وكانوا شيعا لست منهم في شيء وقال ولا تنازعوا فتفشلوا وتذهب ريحكم وقال جل وعلا واعتسموا بحبل الله جميعا ولا تفرقوا وقال جل وعلا شرع لكم من الدين ما وصى به نوحا والذين اوحينا اليك وما وصينا به ابراهيم وموسى وعيسى ان اقيموا الدين ولا تتفرقوا فيه قوله لا تتفرقوا في الدين اي اجتمعوا عليه ولا يتخذوا ولا يتخذ ولا يتخذ كل لنفسه من حاجه وطريقا فتتفرقون في الدين كل له راي في في الدين كل له راي وكل له قول وكل له وجهه وانما المطلوب من اهل الايمان ان يجتمعوا على دين واحد وهو دين الله عز وجل وان يعتصموا بحبل الله جميعا وان يتر وأن يترحوا وأن يترحوا التفرق والشقاق والتدابر والتباغض والتعادي فإن ذلك لا خير فيه والخير في الاجتماع والرحمة في الاجتماع وقد صح عن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم أنه قال الاجتماع رحمة والفرقة عذاب والاجتماع رحمة للأمة يجتمعون على دين الله وعلى كتاب الله وعلى كلمة سواء وعلى تناصح وتعاون وتعاطف وتراهم محققين قول النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم مثل المؤمنين في تواضهم وتعاطفهم وتراحمهم مثل الجسد الواحد إذا اشتكى منه عضو تضاعي له سائر الجسد بالهم بالحمة والسهر وقول عليه الصلاة والسلام المؤمن للمؤمن كالبنيان يشد بعضه بعضا Oh, يشد يشد بعضه بعضا. We'll just stop there for a second. <coughs> so then the Sheikh he quotes uh, the paragraph above, which we've already translated, and then he says that he says this foundation is from the foundation, from the great magnificent foundations, clear foundations that have been clarified from the Quran and from the Sunnah of the Prophet. And he says that you know the the uh, references from the Quran and the Sunnah, you know, are many. And they've been further strengthened with regards to uh, with, with regards to calling the Muslims to being one united body and forbidding them from becoming split and differing and becoming smaller groups, yeah? And then the Shaykh becomes with some ayah. So let's go through the read them in Arabic. Let's get the meanings. Give me one second, inshallah. Uh, okay. So the first ayah was from Surah Al-An'am, verse 109, uh, 159. Um, so let's read that. Verily, those who divide their religion and break up into sects, all kinds of religious sects, you, O Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, have no concern in them in the least. Their affair is only with Allah, who then, who then will tell them what they used to do. So that's clear to us. Then the next ayah is from Surah Al-Anfal. Let's go there. <clears throat> Let me see. Okay, here we are. And do not dispute with one another, lest you lose courage and your strength depart and be patient. Yeah, so then there's that one. And then we have the next time from Surah to Ali Imran, um, verse 103. Let's go there. And hold fast all of you together to the rope of Allah, i.e. this Quran, and do not and and be not divided among yourselves. Yeah. And remember Allah's favor upon you. And the Habl of Allah uh, here 
the Quran and the Sunnah. Yeah, the rope of Allah, the Quran and the Sunnah. What Allah came with, what the Messenger Sallallahu came with. Then we move on to the next ayah, which is in Surah Al-Shura. So let's go there and get the meaning for that, of that ayah. Okay, let's see this. He, Allah, has ordained for you the same religion, Islam, which he ordained for Noah, and that which we have inspired in you, O Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and that which we ordained for Ibrahim, Abraham, Musa, Moses, and Isa, Jesus, saying you should establish religion i do i to do what it orders you to do practically and make no divisions in it i in the religion uh, and become very sex so don't make any divisions in it that's clear again clear ayah so then the sheikh goes on to say he says that so what does um uh don't differ in the deen mean he says i.e the opposite of it as in be united be one body in the religion be one group strong group and don't don't become like the people where they say, oh, well, he's got his opinion and he has his opinion and he has his view and he has his perspective and it's all okay. Everybody's got their view. Everybody has their own brain. No, that's not what the religion, this is not what Allah and the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam commands us with. And this is what the Shaykh is saying here. Uh, and then he goes on to say, so, you know, we should stay away from this, this uh, having this hatred, this differing with one another, hating with one another, uh, you know, um, being hostile to one another and, uh, and you know, us insulting and assaulting each other. You know, you should stay away from these sort of things because why? Because in, in that is what splitting is and differing and there is no good in it. And the Sheikh says, he says that the good is in being united upon one united body in the deen upon the Quran and the Sunnah, of course. And there's mercy in that. And then the Sheikh mentions... Um, a Sahih Hadith, uh, which we read in Arabic here, as you can see, my curse is over it. But the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he said that uh, being united and being one society, one group of people, yeah, is mercy, and differing and splitting is punishment. Yeah. And so the uh, Sheikh he goes on to say after that that uh, being uh, one united body in Islam um, is is a mercy to the Ummah. You know, they gather and they collect together. They become one group upon the deen of Allah and upon his uh, book, the, upon the book of Allah, the Quran, and uh, upon the same way the deen, the, upon the Quran and the sunnah. Yeah, that was the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came with. And they advise each other and they help each other. they one united body like that upon the correct way. Yeah, And they have that love and they have that care and they have that mercy. And so they actualize all of this. And then uh, the Sheikh mentioned another uh, hadith here, uh, which which is highlighting green there. So if you look at the uh, meaning of that, then the meaning of that is as follows. So what do you say? We said, Mithul Mu'min, uh, not that one, sorry. Let me just uh, get the right translation. Yeah, so uh, uh, it was a rough translation. The believers in their mutual kindness, so... Uh, the believers in the mutual kindness, compassion and sympathy are just like one body. When one of the limbs suffers, the whole body responds to it with wakefulness and fever. That's how we should be, you know. Um, then the other hadith as well. Uh, the relationship of the believer with another believer is like the bricks of a building. Each, strength, each strengthens the other. Yeah. And then the Prophet ﷺ illustrated this by interlacing his fingers of both of his hands together, you know. Um, so this is what the Sheikh brings for us as evidence. Uh, then the Sheikh continues, he says, المعاني, الإضام, uh, uh, وجدت, وجدت وجدت وطمأنينة. وذهب عنهم الشيطان ولهذا قال عليه الصلاة والسلام عن التفرق إنما تفرقكم هذا من الشيطان متى قال النبي عليه الصلاة والسلام هذه الكلمة كان الصحابة كان الصحابة في شر مع النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال راوي الحديث أنه عليه الصلاة والسلام فكنا إذا أتينا مكانا للمبيت تفرق تفرقنا أو لل مقيل تفرقنا بحيث يبقى طائفة هناك وطائفة هناك 
يستدلون بتلك الشجرة وطائفة في شجرة الأخرى فقال عليه الصلاة والسلام إنما تفرقكم هذا من الشيطان انظر حرص الدين الاجتماعي حتى في الأسفار في الإقامة في أي مكان يدعو إلى الاجتماع وقال عليه الصلاة والسلام إنما يأكل الذئب من الغنم القاسية بينما إذا اجتمعوا وتقاربوا في حلق العلم في مجالس الذكر في مجالسهم العامة يتقاربون ويكون بينهم الألفة والمحبة والتراحم والتآخي كل هذه معاني دعا إليها, إليها الإسلام وهي من أصوله التي دعا إلى تحقيقها قال تعالى إنما المؤمنون إخوة وفي الحديث يقول عليه الصلاة والسلام لا تناجشوا ولا تباغضوا ولا تدابروا وكونوا عباد الله إخوانا المسلم أخ المسلم لا يظلمه ولا يخذله ولا يحقره So let's just stop there for a second <clears throat> because it's quite a long paragraph. So then the Sheikh says that these meanings, these, these, these are great meanings uh, and you know uh, the shows that you know if you look at these the evidences that have come and if you follow these then that's what brings about a uh, unity of the Muslims the correct way the correct way right upon the Quran and the Sunnah and if you look at the opposite of it as in cutting off uh, 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 for example if you look at the opposite of it as in splitting and differing then that all brings about all kinds of evil yeah this is what the Sheikh has said here and it brings about all sorts of evil And then he says that, you know, being united, being one group, one body, if it's found, then you'll find mercy and good and security and rest and you'll find contentment. Yeah, and peace in your heart. And, and the shaitan will go away from them. The shaitan will be far from them. And then the shaykh says, this is why the Prophet Sallallahu said regarding differing and splitting, he said that indeed, You're splitting, as in the Muslim Ummah, you're splitting. This is from the Shaitan. That this is what the Shaitan wants. He wants the Muslims to be split and broken apart from each other. This is from the Shaitan. So then the Shaykh says, When the Prophet وسلم, when did he say this? So we're looking at the time now, timeline, when the Prophet وسلم said this. So the, the Shaykh tells us a, a story with regards to the Sahaba. He says that the Prophet. وسلم, He said this to the Sahaba when they were in one of their journeys with the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And the narrators of the hadith said that uh, um, uh, with regard to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that he said that he, uh, he, he said that we were in a journey and we know whenever we would be in a journey we would come to a place to either rest the night or to take a short break during the journey. Uh, we would split up from where some of us, some of us Would, would go over there and some of us would go over there. Well, some of, one group would be under that tree and another group would be taking shade in the other tree, for example. So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, he said, indeed, you're, indeed, you're splitting, and, splitting and breaking apart is from the shaitan. And so then the shaykh says to us, he says, he brings his point to us and he says, look at the, the drive and the energy Yeah, uh, with regards to the deen, with re uh, regarding being one group, even on your travels, even in the travels, even if it's in your uh, in 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 in, in uh, where, where, when you are resident somewhere, like those guys in our own area, the Muslims be one group, stay together, help one another, etc. So wherever you are, you know, you th this is what is calling to being one group, one body. Yeah, and also the Sheikh says the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said. Uh, Indeed, uh, the uh, wolf eats from the livestock the one that's gone missing. So the one that goes away from the flock, it gets eaten by the wolf, as we all know. If it separates from the flock, it's going to get eaten. And this is the same uh, thing here that the Sheikh brings as well as additional evidence to help us understand. So the Sheikh says, as for if, 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 if you were a group, if you were in a group close to each other, for example, whether that be in the circles of knowledge, in the uh, sittings of uh, dhikr, uh, whether that be in the, in the general sittings and groupings where you get together gatherings, uh, you be close to one another, 
Then there's uh, love and bonding and mercy and brotherhood between us. And he says, these are all the meanings that Islam calls to. Islam calls to this. And this is from its foundations, from from this uh, the foundational principles of our deen. And that we should actualize this, yeah? And then the Shaykh brings an ayah that, uh, from the Quran, Surah Al-Hujurat, verse 10, that indeed the believers are brothers. Yeah, indeed the believers are brothers. And also in the other, uh, in another hadith that we read, then if we look at the meaning of the hadith, then uh, the meaning of it is, do not envy one another, do not inflate prices by overbidding against one another, do not hate one another, do not harbor like malice or hate against one another, and do not enter into commercial transactions when others have entered into the transaction. But be you, O slaves of Allah, as brothers. A Muslim is the brother of another Muslim. He neither oppresses him, nor uh, nor does he humiliate him. Then he says, piety is here, and he pointed to his chest three times. Yeah. So that's the uh, the whole of the hadith, or um, more of what's mentioned here. But as uh, this is a famous hadith, and most of us, inshallah, will know about it. And the Sheikh, the Sheikh says, and as for uh, Islam, he says, regarding Islam, that, you know, it, it calls to uh, being one group of society, being a society, one body. And it, as mentioned earlier, and it obviously forbid, it forbids the opposite, as in splitting and differing. And that it has warned against the splitting severely, yeah, in many places. And, it's, and the, Sheikh, the Sheikh says here that every uh, affair that sort of like chisels, scrapes away, slices away and takes away from this unity and having a body or uh, or, 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 or causes it to uh, to split and differ, then this is what uh, is made haram, yeah? From, from, from this from this thing. So anything like that, that causes pain, then it's haram because it's causing problems for the Muslim ummah, yeah? So if I, and then Sheikh brings more examples. Says haram al ghiba, wa haram al namima, wa haram al tatnajish, wa haram al hasad, wa haram al tadabur, wa tabawut. All of these nahi anha al Islam, yana takhdishu wa takhillu bil istimai wa tafarruq wa tafarruq bain al Muslimin, wa tashtat shiml shimlahum, wa tujid al furqa bainahum. فكل أمر يخلو بالاجتماع نهى عن الإسلام والحرمه. so just the Sheikh explains here from what we read in the meaning of the hadith. you know so and the other examples here as well. for example, uh, you know backbiting is haram, tail carrying is haram, carrying tales and stories to cause problems for your brothers, uh, um, and 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 then the rest of the hadith what we read in English. You know, cheating, uh, bidding on prices. Somebody else wants to buy something, you know, then you put a higher price in. And, you know, all this is wrong. Yeah. Uh, and, um, you know, having hate and envying hasad, uh, and, you know, uh, um, having that malice and hatred for your brothers in your heart as well. These are all diseases of the heart. So, you know, we all need to make sure that we, we're carefully looking into our hearts and what's in there. And that we, uh, if you have any of these diseases, that we cure them. So then uh, the Sheikh continues. He says, "Walihada min man yutali al adillat, walihada man yutali al adillat fi kitab Allah Azza wa Jal wa Sunnah Nabiyyi sallallahu alaihi wasallam al mushtamilatun al mushtamilatu al al amri bil istimai wa nahi an al furqati ayjiduha kathira jidda." So then the Sheikh says that whoever looks into this affair of being a united body, being upon the Quran and Sunnah as one Muslim body, the correct way, then the evidences are many and likewise the evidences are plentiful as well with regards to the opposite of that splitting and differing. So, so the Sheikh has clarified that for us, Alhamdulillah. So then... The Shaykh goes on to say, he says, he quotes what we read earlier in bold, Amr Allah bilishtima fi dini wa nahi an al tafarruqi fi. Fabayan Allah muhada bayanu shafiyan yafamuhu alawam. I won't translate that because we've already read that. Hadha al asal mubayin fil kitab wa sunnah bayanu shafiyan yafamu alawam fadlin an gayrihim minatullah bil ilmi au al ulama. 
من ذا الذي يخفى عليه بيان الله في كتابه وبيان رسوله عليه الصلاة والسلام في سنته بالأمر في اجتماع قال عليه الصلاة والسلام عليكم بالجماعة فإن يد الله على الجماعة من الذي يخفى عليه دعوة الإسلام الاجتماع ونبذة الفرقة فهذا أمر بين في كتاب الله عز وجل بيان شافي وافي تفهم العوام فضلا غيري So then the Sheikh says here, basically, that, that it's so clear with regards to the, uh, these affair, uh, the, the, this affair that we've been talking about, this principle so far, everything we've said, the Sheikh says that it's so clear that it's surprising that it would surpass anybody's, uh, you know, it would go past somebody and would be hidden from somebody. It's impossible. Um, and then the Sheikh quotes uh, an ayah from uh, uh, a hadith, sorry, with regards to what the Prophet Sallallahu said. He says that upon you is the jama, upon you is being a jama, one society, one group. And for indeed, Allah's hand is over that group, over that group, the group, the jama. Yeah. So <clears throat> let's carry on. <clears throat> so then the Sheikh, he mentions the other part of the original scholars' uh, uh, text here. وَنَهَانَا أَن نَكُونَ كَالَّذِينَ تَفَرَّقُوا وَاخْتَلَفُوا قَبْلَنَا فَهُلِكُوا So then the next part towards the ending of this is and that we are, we are, we are, uh, we, you know, it's been made haram or it's forbidden that we split and differ like those who split and, uh, split and differed before us and they were destroyed as a result of that. So the nations previously, they did this and they were destroyed so we take that as an example and a lesson that we don't do these things because we know that in the end, ultimately, that splitting, as the Sheikh mentioned earlier, splitting leads to destruction and being together upon the Quran and Sunnah correctly brings about all kinds of good for the Muslim Ummah. So, the Sheikh says, Hawla hadha al-amr. الإخبار عن عواقب المتفرقين ممن كانوا قبلنا وأنهم لم يبوءوا بتفرقهم إلا الفشل والخسران وضياء الدين وتشتت الشمل هلكوا بسبب التفرق والتفرق في الدين يعني لم يخ... لم يجتمعوا على الدين الذي بلغهم ووصل إليهم لم يختملوا لم يجتمعوا عليه وإنما تفرق وأصبح كل على قبيل وكل على وجه. So then the Sheikh in this paragraph he says to us that regarding this affair then that you know the news and the information that has come to us about the previous nations that what happened to them when they did not follow their deen that was sent to them by Allah when they didn't follow the correct way uh, then they split and differed they failed and they were in great loss and they were they split and their groups and their bodies their their society split and they were destroyed because of the reason of splitting uh, in their deen and therefore they didn't gather and be upon be one group upon the same deen that Allah sent them uh, Allah sent commands for with regards to that uh, and the deen that reached them with regards to these commands and so because of that and because of splitting they became everybody became groups started splitting so you got smaller and smaller groups and every one of those people individuals and little groups split uh, splits of these groups uh, factions were all on their own way everybody on their own opinion and everybody in their own direction and and this the Sheikh says that this is a lishara with regards to the, this is an indication to us that we see what will happen you know, and what the end result will be if we are like this as well, yeah so then uh, the Sheikh begins, he says in the next paragraph قَالَ رَحِمُهُ اللَّهَ وَيَزِيدُهُ وُضُوحًا أي يزيد هذا الأمر وضوحًا وبيان ما وردت به السنة من العجب العجاب عجاب في ذلك so then the Sheikh says that there's the Quran has clarified this very clearly on top of, of that, we have the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that has clarified it even further. On top of that, evidence upon evidence. And so this is why the Sheikh mentions here that the original author, that's why he says that it's amazing to see that how, uh, the, how things are flipped over where differing and splitting and everybody upon his own way and every, everybody on his own direction is seen as okay. 
but when people are saying no we should follow the quran and sunnah as allah sent it as the prophet ﷺ commanded it and allah has commanded it in the quran and sunnah and the way of the sahaba then people see that something strange and weird and so the sheikh is just uh, the original author is just amazed by how this can be when the evidences are so clear cut yeah so then the sheikh says hey uh uh, في الأمر بالاجتماع والتحذير من الفرقة وجاء الأمر بالاجتماع في أحاديث كثيرة بالنص على هذا اللفظ الاجتماع وجاء في أحاديث أخرى أديدة بالمعنى الذي يدل عليه المقصد الذي يرمي به الذي الذي يدل عليه والمقصد الذي يرمي إليه الاجتماع وكذلك التحذير من الفرقة وكل أمر يؤدي إليها أو يفضي إليها والأحاديث عنه عليه الصلاة والسلام في الأمر بالاجتماع والنهي عن الفرقة كثيرة جدا. So uh, that's just what we've already said there. Just an additional point here with regards to that many evidences have come within the ahadith, the, the sayings of the Prophet وسلم, with the word al ijtima That word itself has been uh, repeatedly has come in um, numerous hadith, countless hadith. Like that as well in evidence, so it's clear cut. So then the Sheikh says, "Wama ahwaj al nasu, wama ahwaj al nas ila al wakuf ila kalami alayhi salatu wasalam fi had al bab hatta hatta yu hatta yu alija ma fi suduri min shatati min shatati wa mailin ila al iftiraki wa akhdin bi asbab al iftiraki wa al udwan." وَلِهَذَا مِنَ مِنَ الْبُحُوثِ الْمُقْتَرِحَةِ فِي هَذَا الْبَابِ أَنْ يُجْمَعَ أَنْوَاءَ الدِّلَالَاتِ السُّنَّةِ عَلَى الْإِجْتِمَاعِ وَذَمِّ الْفُرْقَةِ فِي أَحَادِيثِ النَّبِيِّ عَلَيْهِ السَّلَامُ وَالسَّلَامُ كَمْ يَحْتَاجُ النَّاسُ إلَى الْبُقُوفِ عَلَى ذَلِكَ وَهُوَ بَابٌ كَمَا قَالَ الْمُصَنِّفُ وَرَدَ فِيهِ فِي السُّنَّةِ عَجْبٌ وَجَابٌ وجمعها وصنفها إلى أنواع إلى أنواع بحيث يجتمع قدر عظيم من هذه الأحاديث في موضع واحد والذي ورد عنه عليه الصلاة والسلام في هذا الباب قدر كبير جدا كما أشار المصنف رحمه الله إلى ذلك ثم مع هذا الأمر مع وضوح هذا الأمر في الكتاب وسنتي كثرة الدلائل فيهم عليه عليه يقول المصنف ثم صار الأمر so so in this paragraph, the Sheikh then mentions that how much of a need are the people, are the people uh, to stop over, to ponder, to stop with these hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu and ponder over these hadith with regards to um, uh, the command of being together, one body upon the Quran and Sunnah, and, um, and the opposite of that, as in staying away from differing and splitting. The Sheikh emphasizes here that if we were to, if we sat there and we went through all the hadith, you know, you'd be there would be an, an innumerable amount of a hadith, countless, countless numbers of a hadith, a, a large, very large number that would show that that is the evidence with regards to this affair. So the Sheikh just mentions that here, and this is why he mentions again that the original author uh, was uh, startled, is always startled by the way people have become with regards to it. And so this is the next topic that we move on to in bold here, where the Sheikh says that, uh, he mentions that the next part of the original author, uh, author's paragraph, towards the end that, the uh, when the affair became on, on its heels, in over its heels, opposite, it became opposite, as in where, instead of encouraging, um, being one group, following the Quran and Sunnah, following the same deen, uh, as Allah wants, and the way the Prophet ﷺ came with the message, then instead of being one group and avoiding splitting, the affair became the opposite, where splitting became the norm, and it was seen as that's the right way, that's what the deen requires you to do, you know, splitting, and that anybody who's uh, calling to uh, follow the Quran and Sunnah and be one Muslim body upon the Quran and Sunnah, yeah, like that correctly, that this person is either crazy or is a 
uh, is a heretic. So then the Shaykh goes on to say, يعني انقلب الامر رأسا على رأسا على عقب أصبح لكثرة الشتات والافتراق والتفرق الناس أصبح أداي إلى الاجتماع مضموما. So then the Shaykh says that it's uh, that the fair is just being turned over its head like a turned like a stone's being turned over upside down, uh, a head over its heels, and so uh, it says that the fair in that that way then that. There's been a lot of splitting and differing and, you know, factions and groups. And the person who, uh, the caller to uh, being upon the Quran and Sunnah as one body is to be seen as a lowly person, as somebody who doesn't know what he's talking about, uh, not to be taken any note, uh, not not to be noted or anything, you know, uh, noticed. And the Shaykh says, well, da'i ila liftiraq mahmud. And likewise, in the opposite of that, in, in this day and age, for example, or on the right of the time of the of the author, but even today as well, that the person who's calling to uh, differing and splitting, then he's to be seen as praiseworthy. Yeah. And the other one who's calling to uh, uh, the right way, which is upon the Quran and Sunnah as one body, as one group, then this person is is seen as a um, uh, as a unpraiseworthy, yeah? the opposite of it. So then the Sheikh says, Sara, uh, Sara, walk to Nas, fi had al bab, and the lifty raka, fi usul al dini, wa fruihi, hu al ilmu, wa hu al fikhu, fi din. Bel yumdahu, wa, uh, walalana, nasmau, fi hayatina, wa wakina, uh, man, uh, man yerfauna, rayat, uh, rayat, yumajiduna, wa yuaduna, hiya, samimu lilm. وهي كبد الحقيقة يقولون حرية الاعتقاد حرية الرأي حرية الكلمة كلمات من هذا الكبيل تطلق ونذائرها كثير أي أن أي أن أن كل له رأي وكل له عقل وكل له عقيدة ومعنى ذلك أن هذا أن هذا دعوة للتفرق وحم وحمد له وثناء عليه وحمد له وثناء عليه ولا يمكن أن يكون اجتماع إلا على كلمة سواء أما إذا كان الناس كل له وجه وكل له عقيدة وكل له مذهب كيف يجتمعون Let's just stop there for a second <coughs> So then the Sheikh says here that the basically that splitting then is seen as you know the person who calls the splitting is seen to have fiqh and understanding in the deen and uh, uh and that's how it is these days and and he's praised and and you'll you know you'll you know and even and the shape brings another example he says we might hear even in our lifetimes we may may have heard or we may hear in the future but we may have heard already uh the people you know just uh uh um uh bringing their opinions uh forwards you know uh you know saying things like uh that you know Korea you know freedom of uh, speech and freedom of opinion and freedom of belief and freedom of whatever you say so you know things like this and the sheikh says that the, you know things like this that there are many you know the types of speech that seem to this are many everyone has his opinion for example and everyone will have his has his intelligence and everyone has his belief and the he says and the meaning of that is that uh, the meaning of that is it's calling people to to differ and to split and then whoever does that then he's like it's praiseworthy for him and he's you know he's like everybody's like you know praising that kind of person or whoever comes with this kind of thing as we already know that this is all falsehood with regards to the quran and sunnah when you look at the evidences this is falsehood of course and then the sheikh says there's no possible that there'll be a society or a group one body uh, one strong body uh, uh, um, uh, except if they're upon the same word they're on the same word, they're on the same way. And that's the only way that um, unity comes about, that they're upon the Quran and Sunnah on the same deen. Yeah, then the Sheikh says, as for, you know, the people, you know, where you have, everyone has his direction and his end, end, end point and his direction, everyone has his own belief and everyone has his own way and methodology, then how can they gather? And that is a rhetorical question. That they, they, they can't gather and be one group. People like that on differing opinions is not not possible. So then Sheikh says, مثل ما قال أحد أهل العلم في قضايا الدين عموما لكن أخذنا مثالا. 
رجل يتوف بالبيت وهو يقول اللهم ارضى عن أبي بكر وعمر وآخر يتوف بالبيت ويقول اللهم اللعن ألعن أبا بكر وعمر أين هذا من هذا لا يمكن أن يكون بينهم اجتماع ولا يمكن أن يقال هنا حرية الكلمة أو حرية الرأي هذا مثال وإلا كس عليه بقية أمور الدين شخص يقول الإيمان يزيد وينقص وآخر يقول لا يزيد ولا ينقص أو آخر يثبت يثبت القدر ويؤمن به وآخر ينفيه ويجحده وهكذا اختلاف في العقيدة واختلاف في العبادة هذه الأمور ما يمكن أن توجد وتبقى ويبقى معها اجتماع ولهذا الاجتماع لا يكون إلا على الدين والتفرق إلا على الدين والتفرق أو التفرق لا يكون في الدين ولهذا أحد العلماء قال كلمة عظيمة في معنى قول النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم ولا تباغدوا قال وفي قوله صلى الله عليه وسلم ولا تباغدوا نحي عن البدع Let's just stop there for a second. So then uh, the Sheikh says here that he brings an example. He says he brings an example from uh, one of the uh, people of knowledge. Uh, and, and he mentions, he says, we'll take it as an example. And he says, for example, a man who is circumambulating the Kaaba, uh, uh, the house of Allah. And he says, oh Allah, be pleased. You know, be, be pleased with Abu Bakr and Umar radiallahu anhuma. And another one who is circumambulating the Kaaba and he says, Oh Allah, you know, curse Abu Bakr wa Umar. The Shaykh says, where is, the, where is this from that? And he says, it's not possible that, that, that these two can be united. Why? Because they're completely different statements, right? These people are making two different statements, completely different statements. They will not come together. No way. And he says, it's not possible. Uh, uh, he says, and it's not possible like, if, if it's if it's said, uh, or oh, there's uh, freedom of speech here or freedom of opinion here. And he says, this is just an an, an example or two, but use that as a yardstick and uh, just extrapolate using these examples on other affairs, uh, other affairs of the deen. So he says, for example, a person he he says, uh, uh, belief. Increases and decreases. Al Iman increases and decreases. Yeah. And another one, he says, Iman does not uh, increase and it does not decrease. And as we know, all of us now here, we all know that the correct uh, belief is that Iman increases and decreases. But the point being here that the Sheikh trying to show us differing opinions of people, how can they be together in one group, be united? Not possible. For example, one person, he affirms the qadr of Allah and he believes in it and the other one he negates it and he uh, and he rejects it how, how can they how, how can they be together how can they unite they can't because they have different beliefs yeah and so they have differences in aqidah this is a major issue right uh, they have differences in aqidah and in worship and these affairs the sheikh says these affairs it's not possible that you know you'll find uh uh, any uh, unity or uh, uh, enjoyment here is not possible. And so then the Sheikh says, this is why the unity and being one group upon the Quran and Sunnah is, is not found except by following the deen as it should be followed. And that differing, uh, uh, is, uh, and, and that differing is not possible in the deen. You, you, not, you can't differ upon the deen. The deen is the deen and you follow it as it should be followed. And he says that this is why some, one of the scholars uh, mentioned a great he mentioned a great thing a great state made a great statement in the meaning of uh, when the prophet sallallahu said wala tabagadu and that was the hadith that we read earlier remember la tabagadu don't hate each other yeah don't have hatred for each other don't hate and the, this scholar said he said wa fi qawli sallallahu alayhi wasallam wala tabagadu he said that it means nahyun it means uh, 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 forbidance or uh, for, uh, forbidding bid'ah, yeah, forbidding bid'ah. And then the Sheikh says, "Well, what does this speech mean then?" 
So then he goes on to say, says, قال لأن البدعة إذا وجدت وجدت الفرقة بين المسلمين. He said that because why did he say that? He said that because if you if you find bid'ah, religious innovation, then you will find uh, then you will find differing from the uh, within the people. You find differing in the Muslimin. Yeah, uh, and he says that al bid'ah, religious innovation, it splits the Muslims, and the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam it brings the people together. That's the difference. Bid'ah splits. The Sunnah brings together, joins. And then the Shaykh says, well, you call Ahlu Sunnah wal Jama'ah. And, and, and this is why you hear, we hear this word, ah, uh, Ahlu Sunnah, Ahlu Sunnati wal Jama'ah. This is the meaning. Why? Because Ahlu Sunnah wal Jama'ah, they bring, join the people together upon the Quran and the Sunnah. Yeah. And that is why we hear Ahlul Bid'ati wal Furqa and the people of religious innovation and splitting. Why? Because that's exactly what they bring about. Then the Shaykh goes on to say, Al Bid'atu Ida Wujidat. فرقت وسنة إذا وجدت جمعت السنة تجمع والبدع تفرق تفرق فلا يمكن أن تغالط حقائق الأمور ونطلب الاجتماع على البدع كل على بدعة ويطلب الاجتماع على بل بعضهم قاعدة في هذا قاعدة قاعدة عدت أصلا في العلم لدى أقوام قال نجتمع في ما اتفقنا فيه ويأذر بعضنا بعضنا بعضا في مختلفنا فيه بحيث كل بحيث كل كل على عقيدة وكل على رأي وكل على مذهب ويأذر بعضنا بعضا في مختلفنا فيه هذا ضياء للدين هذا تقعيد لضياء الدين و so then the Sheikh says here, what we, say, what we just mentioned earlier, but also the uh, new thing mentioned here in this paragraph is uh, a principle that people come with. And uh, he mentions here in uh, speech marks uh, here. And uh, if you look at that, then the meaning of that is, if I can highlight it, then the meaning of that is that that they say we unite and come together upon that which we agree and we excuse one another in that which we differ from. And that obviously it's a false principle. And this is what a group called Ikhwan al-Muslimin and other than them call to. They'll say, so, so for example, the examples are given earlier. Somebody going around the Kaaba and is doing dua. Uh, it is it, uh, asking Allah to be pleased with uh, Abu Bakr and Umar, and then you've got another person, for example, who's saying the opposite, saying curse, and uh, and obviously that second person is wrong and incorrect. These people, looking at that red highlighted text, these people will say, "Oh, no problem. You know, we all uh, do Hajj. For example, we're all making Hajj or Umrah. We're Muslims. We're making Hajj. We agree on that. For example, just as one of the things that they agree on, uh, we obviously disagree on you." Cursing, for example, the Sahaba, but anyway, we're still brothers and let's get along. You know, that's a false principle, it does not work, does not from the deen, and this is bid'ah. So, uh, the Sheikh uh, mentions this uh, to us here, and I've just added a few extra words on there as well with regards to this is uh, the belief of the or the way of the Ikhwan al Muslimin. And then uh, the Sheikh continues, okay, we'll finish in about five minutes, inshallah. I don't think we've got. Uh, okay, we're nearly done. Let's finish, inshallah, within the hour. So then the Sheikh moves on. He says, فَالْمُسَنِّفْ رَحْمُهُ اللَّهِ يَقُولُ هُنَا صَارَ الْأَمْرُ أَنَّ الْإِفْتِرَاقَ فِي أُصُولِ دِينِ وَفُرُوهِ هُوَ الْعِلْمُ وَالْفِقْفِ فِي الدِّينِ So then the Sheikh is going to talk about the next part of uh, the original paragraph from the start. And that is that then the affair became in that it became to such an extent that uh, the affair was turned upside down. So now differing and splitting uh, in the foundations and in the subsidiary mouths of the deen was a praiseworthy thing. And uh, actually calling to the Quran and Sunnah and upon being one unit upon the Quran and Sunnah was seen as something uh, a crazy person would say um, or a, a heretic. So this is what the Sheikh mentions here. And, and he says, وَمَعْنَا كَلَامِ وَادِحْ أَصْبَحَ الْكَلِمَاتَ الَّتِي تُطْلَقْ وَيُدَعَ فِيهَا إِلَى اجْتِمَاعِ عَلَىٰ غَيْرِ كَلْمَةٍ سَوَا وَإِنَّمَا yeah. So then the Sheikh says, 
هي دع دع هي دعوة للعام للعلم ودعوة الصحية الصحيحة في أف في أفهم كثير من الناس. So then that this you know with having your own opinions, uh, uh, it's okay. You can be different. Uh, you don't have to always, you don't have to follow the Quran and Sunnah. For example, you can be different. You have your opinion. I have my opinion. Freedom of speech, freedom of opinion. Um, uh, that has become uh, a freedom of, uh, let's say, religion. Even then, it comes to that, doesn't it? Um, doesn't it? So, for example, you have your belief and I have my belief. It's okay. Wherever we differ in, it's all right. You have your opinion. You know this kind of thing. This has become the norm in much of the uh, ummah. This has this kind of this thought process and perspective has uh, sadly become the norm in most cases in the majority. So then the Sheikh goes to say, "Wa fi fi muqabil dalika sar al amr bil istima fi din wada isharatun inda qali fi din wa sar al amr bil istima fi din la yqulu illa zindiq wa majnun." As we said earlier, and so and uh, opposite of that is that the person who calls to um uh, being one uh, society one muslim ummah one nation upon the following the quran and sunnah as it should be then this person has be, has been taken to be seen as a uh, as a mad person as a crazy person and a heretic so that's how the affair has become this is what the sheikh mentions in this paragraph and so instead of taking the deen as it should be taken from the from the book of Allah, from the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, uh, the authentic Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, uh, with the understanding of the Sahaba, then that has been seen as something alien in our day and time. Actually, even even in our time now, in fact. <clears throat> so then the Shaykh says, "Qala wasar al-amr bil istimai fi dini la yaqulu illa zindika wa majnun in the man in the haula ahl al-iftiraki asbaha la yadu ila istimai fi dini illa." من هو عندهم زنديق أو مجنون ومن يحذر من البدع التي تفرق ومن يعذر ومن يحذر من الأهواء التي تفرق وتفرق يصفونه بصفاء دم يصفونه بصفات شنيئة وألقاب سيئة ويتهمونه في أقله ويتهمونه في فكره ويتهمونه في قصده وفي نيته ويقعون في إرده وهو لم يفعل إلا أن دعا إلى السنة وحذر من نقيدها وضدها وهو البدعة والحدث في دين الله So then the Sheikh says that, that this that the statement that we made in the previous paragraph that the one who calls to the Quran and the Sunnah to being united upon the Quran and the Sunnah um, uh, and being one united body like that, then this person is seen as a heretic and a, a crazy person. And he says, with who? Who are the people who see this person doing the right thing uh, um, uh, being seen as a heretic or a crazy one? And he says, it is with the people of differing. It's the people of splitting and differing. Yeah, so he says that it's become that, uh, you know, uh, uh, it's become in such a way that calling to other than uh, uh, the Quran and Sunnah being united upon one body, then this is seen with them as a person who is a heretic or is crazy. And whoever uh, warns of, uh, of, uh, from bid'ah, religious innovation and splitting and warns from the people of splitting, they, they, they describe this person who does these mm, Praiseworthy noble actions, uh, uh, as as uh, somebody who is seen as as uh, as uh, evil, as ugly, as somebody not to be looked at, yeah, and not to be taken from or anything. And then they attack the person, so they start attacking his intelligence. They start attacking him uh, in what he says. They start attacking him in his intentions and what what, what he's trying to do and from his goals, uh, and also. They uh, they also uh, you know try to uh, dishonor him, and he isn't doing that. He isn't doing it, uh, and whatever he does isn't except that he's calling them to the sunnah. He's calling them to the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu and he's warning them from that which opposes it. Yeah, which is the bid'ah, religious innovation, and newly invented ma'az. Yeah, in the Deen of Allah. Last paragraph. So then the Sheikh says, "Wahuna." ينبه المصنف 
أن الدعوة للاجتماع ليست دعوة للاجتماع هكذا كيف ما اتفق وكيف ما كان وإنما هي دعوة للاجتماع على كلام الله وكلام رسوله على دين الله وعلى كتابه وعلى سنة رسوله عليه الصلاة والسلام ورب العالمين أمر, أمر الإباد بالاجتماع والاتسام قال واعتسموا بحبل الله جميعا ولا تفرقوا حبله قيل القرآن قيل السنة قيل الإسلام وهكذا كله صحيح كلها حبل الله عز وجل حبله ودينه الذي دل عليه كتابه وسنة نبيه صلى الله عليه وسلم So then the final paragraph and probably the most important the Sheikh says so here we look at the author and he directs our attention to the the call to being um that the, the call to a, a united body a united nation of muslims uh he says that it's uh, it's it's how it's not however it's not by um whatever you feel like or you know take this route let's let's try and join the muslims like this and x y and z no it's not like that or whichever way it might be it's not like that you don't take whichever path and indeed he says it is calling the people to the uh, the speech of Allah and the speech of the messenger upon the deen of Allah and upon his uh, and the book of Allah and upon the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam that is the co- correct call to unity yeah <clears throat> as uh, as repeated throughout this uh, throughout the lesson <clears throat> and the sheikh says that the lord of the worlds is commanded his servants his slaves with with ishtima with being one group one society one nation <clears throat> uh, and al itisam yeah and it's and that's holding on to holding on to and being one group and holding on to al islam the quran and sunnah the sheikh explains it here he says uh, as we read in the quran wa tasimu bi hablillahi jami'an wa la tafarraqu hold fast to the rope of allah all of you and don't split and differ surah al imran Verse 103. I think we read this earlier on. And the Sheikh says that he, the rope of Allah, it is said it is the Quran, and it is said it is the son of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and it is said it is al-Islam. And he says that all of this is correct, and all of it is the rope of Allah azza wa jal. You know his rope, his deen, that which shows us that it is the kitab of Allah, the book of Allah, and the sunnah of his Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So inshallah we'll stop there and uh, we'll uh, continue on the third principle inshallah next week all being well at the same time inshallah as well Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta wa astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh